he just rips it. I mean, it is playing on top of the plane, above the plane, and the landing area at 10, clubhouse in the background, and Victor Hovland second. 173. Effective yardage, somewhere around 177. Eight iron for Victor. Okay, he said get up. Well, he thought the same thing. Maybe just a little bit too much respect. Hovland will stay. The creek up the left and try not to overcook this. And he's overcooked this. And there's an old sank here at 11, just laying up. Tough layup. Well, you go back to. Uh, I think the, I think the lie and the fact that you can't miss right. Or we'll get back for Rom. Hovland had to lay it up. Here's his third. He's a really high spin player. Different shot here, up in the air. Ooh. See, I look at this club, way open, Chantel. Look for this to land just on the, maybe a pace or two at most. Wait, oh, a pretty good idea of how much pitches from the back of the green here at the 11th. But you go from offense to defense. You know, you would have liked to have got, you know, your the putter in your hand, you know, being able to give it a good look for birdie, especially here. You've got four par fives this week. They all play a very, very important part into crafting. Okay, he's just watch two go over. See if he adjusts. He did. That's a brave adjustment because short seems kind of bad. And what a look this will be for birdie. Yeah, and moving to his right. Heel. Hit it right at that bunker up the left. Plays a little baby fade. Wind will help it. And he's done just that. Yes. Mm. He asked for that baby fade. That one was eight pounds, seven ounces. That was perfect. <laughs> now, Victor Hovland here at 13. Big tee shot. You know, he's pushed it down there far enough that didn't have to deal with the trees on the right and beautiful shot. Grillo getting a little teach from Victor right here. Yeah, see, you can put some speed behind this one. Underneath the hole right there, that's ideal. Just a real positional hole here, the 14th. Plays downhill some 10 yards. Got to get it in the short grass there. The 14th is this pin location tucked all the way in the back right-hand side. And I talk from experience here because getting at this event for many, many years, this is probably the most difficult pin location because the pin is the run out on the left-hand side. Part of the game that he has worked on. Pond off to the left-hand side. This creek actually meanders right across there where we saw Scotty Scheffler moments ago. Then all around the back of the tee at the 15th. And it's time to let it fly. This is why you play golf. Chasing par fives. He's got this little baby fade drifting right now. Height on this real quick. See him. Dropping those hands down low. Tell you what, all in all, that's maybe not putting is great. All right, Hovland for birdie. Boy, that's a great up and down there. Sandy birdie for Victor Hovland here at 15. Pad the stats. And you can tell this is a bit of an awkward number today. Also, another guy utilizing the. Two club links. 
going with the smoother option and it worked out nicely. Boy, he just. Hovland for birdie at 16. Right back up the hill here for Victor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard a great thing about John Rahm a couple weeks ago. This guy, he's a. You know, a lot of that slope's been taken out. He might have got fooled with history there. Yeah, a little bit of a mind game due to the changes from two years ago. Victor Hovland. Hovland second. And playing from the center of the fairway. Likes to fade it, but using the proper shot shape for this pin location. This guy's pretty special. It's a great, great shot. Two fingers on that one instead of the one. Problem first to play. Yeah, one of the other challenges, Colin, is this pin or this fairway pitches right to left, so it kind of tricks your eye way up the left side. And you can see exactly what you were talking about there, Doug. Victor Hovland's ball landing in the fairway. We'll go ahead to 18 now, Hovland. That's a lot of loft on that club. 160 yards to the hole, big tee shot. Grab. Just kind of get it rolling. That's good. That's back to back birdies for Nick. Back to even par now. Hovland passes the test at 18. To the first for Victor. <laughs> Got a guard against the left, and that's where this one started. But Hovland's starting to fade now. This ball just up the left side, Kyle. Oh, and if that just takes those nice little gentle bounces, that should be just fine down the left side there. He'll take this way up in the air. It's one of the few shots we've seen grab that quick. Victor Hovland, a chance for birdie at the first. Uh, good luck inside 15 feet. You can hit a good putt and it not go in. They don't understand that. And that's exactly to Doug's point. It's like, hey, the green is grass. Victor Hovland at the tee. Yeah, got to hit a little draw here on this, on this hole. Oh, and oh, trying to do oh, so, this is double crossed. Oh boy, that is a long way left. It's getting some cheap mileage down the path. Actually, not all that bad a lie. And look what he did with it. Go in there, muscle it out, kind of figure it out. You're always guessing, but he certainly guessed right with the second shot. Mm. And Scotty Scheffler had 119 putts, and he only wow. misses the playoff by one shot. That's how good he is from tee to green right now as we watch Victor Hovland pour it in for par. And you have to be aware of the run out down the right side. But this is pulled from Hovland. There's some agua over there. Get the train down yeah, the that may have found that water. I'd like it to kind of go back, which I think was kind of the, the most stress-free decision he could make, but now he can be extremely aggressive. Yeah, you see the difference there. Over at the third, Victor Hovland for par. Certainly he's going to see one go in. Scotty Scheffler, <laughs> he's still almost winning golf tournaments, putting, uh, you know, by his standards, very poorly. He hits it high enough to really get some stopping power. Just 
just up the left. Those false fronts that we've been talking about, Carl. Off the green here at the fourth. Okay. Well, Victor, for his part. Yeah, Greedlow's going, you know, there's a lot of emotion last week. Nice par there by Victor, but a lot of emotion for Grillo, Grillo last week, you know, getting that win. After. A few tee shots that really has changed, or actually this entire hole has changed. Green much smaller now. We'll talk about it in a bit, but hobbling up the left. Got to get down. That's in the thick stuff. Oh. Luscious indeed. Beautiful word to describe that uh, sound of the club trying to make it through that rough. Yeah, it's getting to be about that time. I agree with you. Hovland, similar situation. Yeah. All these players, high spin players. Well, it's about to post his number. We go out to the fifth. Victor Hovland for birdie. Vector for his par on five. Yeah, just some housework left. Good job. Oh, did get lucky. Just barely cleared that bunker. It ends up in the first cut. Sitting down just a little bit, so it might be hard to get. On this approach, I would buck 50. Wow, did he take the high route? Wow, that is up there. Hinges it a bunch. Hovland scrambling here at six. Oh, that one just took off on him. Now up Ooh. to the green, Victor Hovland. Seems to be a little concern on the backstroke, but that looks smooth. They're coming out of the bushes and the trees. It is that time of year in Columbus. Yeah, it's the cottonwoods. There's a bunch of cotton flowing through the air right now. Got to get it just right of the flag in the air. This has been his bread and butter. He's struck these well all season. And this is no exception here. Up the hill, looking outside right. All right there, he's looking forward to go back left. And that's a misread. The peanut description. Eight today playing at 210. Kevin, one of the skinniest greens on tour. Anytime you can write a two down after this hole, take it and run to the next. Well, he'll write down a three. It is 22 feet of putt night. And that one, you never had a chance. There's nothing more than a player hates to know that that putt was never online, never a chance of going in. Just 22 feet of putts. then do crushed Oreos in the strawberry milkshake. That just blew everyone's mind. Well, Hovland. This is getting better. Don't need to be crushed yet. <laughs> Victor Hovland at nine. Yes. 
Wow. Easy game. Well, we found him. Yes, sir. Thank you. Might need, might need to catch a break over there with the lie. Now Victor looks to be a decent lie in the rough. Yeah, just got to judge how much it's going to jump on you. Go. Go hard. Wow. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very well played. What a stud. Impressive. Got the Longhorns color on. Hovland cleaning up what was an impressive. Yeah. Yeah. And this one needs to hit soft. Mm -hmm. oh, it's almost a Back in good form. This is that second Victor Hovland. And just dodging that creek by a couple yards. It's our first look at the second green. Cavi's gonna have his hands full there. Blade all the way open here in the bunker at the second. And he's gonna have to thump the sand on this one. Yeah. Well, a few we've seen get some spin. Yeah, very nicely done there. He wants this putt to go, which to me looks just inside left. Shouldn't be much in it. Potentially, that's the reason he's gone with a more conventional route. Yesterday, he missed this tee shot left. Made bogey at the hole safely and the short stuff today. Cameron Young didn't run out of room, and Adam Scott, beautiful up the left hand side. Ahead to three now, Hovland. You know, guys have misjudged this shot. They've gone long, and then they've really struggled from there. Two over right now. Jason's two outside of it. Hovland for birdie at three. Right all the way. You think that cut's going to stay at two over, Billy? Now the wind's got that as well. And that's a hard kick. Right, Victor Hovland, a little better spot than Grillo. Well, I think he's far enough up that you can go ahead and put a little speed behind it. So that left for par, back at four. Hovland still on a, not on the green. Nicely done. He's right up against that wall of trees to his left. Go hard. Go. That was one less club, and that worked out. Just inside 25 feet. But now the putt has put you behind the hole, and you have to be very careful. I didn't think this club would give you the danger. Tracing technology is provided by Trackman. A little out of the right. Yes, sir. Mostly down. And that. That's that patented move where you play above the plane. Yep. Don't see that very often. Yep. Four missed greens in a row for Hovland to the last hole. That's a good point. The Norwegian rocking his Ryder Cup USA team colors today. <laughs> or the Norwegian flag, whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> Speaking of that, Colt, do you realize it's National Donut Day today? I just thought you probably would have known that more than others. Hoblin, clean up. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. 
still cut looking like two, maybe going to three later today. You either catch that left bunker or run through on the right. You see Spieth do that? Yeah, Spieth at three would here yesterday got home. This one headed up that right, needs to take a seat. Yeah, he was just trying to carry that first bunker. Not the same line as Scheffler's. Wow. Oh. I don't think he thought that was going to fly as far as it did. Never a doubt. Frank, we always talk about his ball striking, but I would say the short game is what kept him in it at the PGA Championship. Here at eight, Hovland has this for birdie. Couldn't believe his eight iron win as far as it did. This a quick one coming down the hill. Got a chance, huh? back to the right at the end. Here at eight, Hovland has this for birdie. Couldn't believe his eight iron win as far as it did. This a quick one coming down the hill. Got a chance, huh? back to the right at the end. Good speed, though, from up above. Kurt, with his improved short game, I have to imagine at some point he's going to get one of these major championships. Uh, I think that's a pretty good bet. I agree with you. He just so good tee to green. Our tracing technology is provided by TrackMan. Got a terrible break, bounced dead right off the tee. That out of the first cut hit a mile in the air. That's so good from there. Yeah, really good. It's going to get better, too. No easy hole, Frank, and, and hole location. Speaking of, here's Hovland to get it to two under. Big breaker from his right to left and speedy. Oh, Cole Trickle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was nearly in jail off the tee. Good clean contact. Spin. The question is how high on the face of the club is this going to hit? Back into the wind. Pretty good landing spot there. Catch the slope. Yeah. Lighten the load. That was heavy lifting after that double bogey. Ooh. The PGA Championship just a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Kick that Scotty got now. Mm. Ed Fortinet was his first start as a PGA Tour member. Well, Hovland with no choice here at 11. That was seriously thick, Rob. Up by the trees, but the flag doesn't move. He's going flag hunting on this one. Get up there one little bit. Just knew that he, you know. At 11, Hovland for birdie. I was actually shocked. He spun his wedge shot about 15 feet back up against that first cut, and that's going to be a disappointing par. 
It is coming off a bogey at 10 as well. So when you look at Matsuyama at seven, now he's within six. Starts the day, it was eight. This has been a pretty popular spot to putt from. Tough to get it around this front hole location. Should move a little to his left. How about that two? Perfectly red. Victor Hovland one hand with that driver. Those are great misses. This green runs away from the players. He's far enough back too. He should get some release. Chipping something down there. Yeah, this one's a little right. Needs to go left. That will be speedy. Yeah, he hung that cut up into that slope and it killed it. Not his best swing there. Up at the green, Hovland for his birdie. Would love to just cozy this one down there and tap it in and move over to 14. That's really good speed, Kurt. Yeah, it sure is. Screens are quick. Small landing area out there. Now, Victor, just three of 10 fairways hit today. Going with iron. That one low and on a good line up the left side. And yeah, I like chasing it down there. I like chasing Meek. it down there today, Michael. It's uh, it's a very accessible pin. Left side of the fairway wants to throw it just a little bit left. Maybe have it land at the hole. This needs to get down. I tell you, those are uh, a short par four and a bird drive. Victor Hovland. And look how far out to the right he's aiming. This is going to put on his left turn signal. You could learn something from this, Frank. Hello. That's the way to drive it in. Learned it's makeable. You're going to see all three of these guys wear out the right side of this tee box to open up that fairway, and that is just a beauty. That's six iron from 228, just trying to cover that front edge. Headed a little left. Oh, wow, what a bounce off the side of that hill. That kicked dead right, didn't it, Kurt? It wow. just ricocheted off of that hill. It's off the back of the green. It is sitting up pretty well back there. Ooh, looked like he decelled on it a little bit. He didn't like that one. Uh -uh. God, he's worked so hard on his short game, and that was not. You could what he was hoping for right there. Curdy he had just six iron into this hole. Gonna be kicking yourself if you walk off with five. Come on, he's gonna walk off with five. That's the easiest hole in the golf course. 15's playing a half a shot under par. He will be shaking his head on how he played that one. Except the challenge. What? A no, bogey? I, Look I, for a four? Well, I was gonna give a scenario as we watched Victor Hovland. With the tournament on the line. You cannot afford to go left, right? Instead of just pins in the front and the back, now you can put, you know, pretty much all the way through the green. Hovland, 16. We saw him hit a number of beautiful bunker shots, but PGA, and that, once again, is so much better than it used to be. A couple of months, he's been right there, but he just hadn't quite got it into the hole on the right last day. Good save. From nice the save there yeah. for Victor. Just yep, like he that. loves it. <laughs> Another player here that's been playing some great golf, Jack. Hoblin, his second at 17. That's yeah. seven iron from 177 right at it. Oh, man, just a little deep. 
I'm, I'm very open-minded about all that stuff. And so I don't want to be, I, I don't, I'm trying not to, trying not to hurt somebody. I want them to enjoy it, want them to play well, but I want them to be rewarded for good goals. Is there anything in particular you're thinking about for next year? Well, I was, you know, the, the backpacks they give out at the memorial. Yeah, I don't know if they have those this year. Yeah, I know. Well, if they have one, I'll grab one for you. All right. I appreciate it. Had a great imagination. Hovland, T at 18. Michael Phelps couldn't swim out of that comment you made, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Colt Nice, who was ripping the uh, Ohio Buckeyes. 18. Might be far enough back from the lip. Yeah, 175. Frank had no problem getting it over that lip. Oh, I think it just nose dived. Did uh, not. Not quite. No. Just a hint of deceleration. Yeah, he did. He decelerated, didn't carry it. He needed to carry it in one bounce out of the rough. So if he is actually playing what appears to be really downhill, but it's not, it's not as fast as you think because it's just, it's, it's an illusion because the overall terrain falls that way. Victor. Okay. You, you mentioned Tom White's got boy we missed Tom. Yeah. So five and seven certainly two holes on the front nine where you're looking to make at least birdie. Victor Hovland. Is enjoyable to watch. Just 269 carry, but it runs and runs. Ooh, this is pretty good here, Jeff. Gets it to pin high. Doesn't get it far enough right to really take the ridge, but he's going to have a pretty good look at Eagle. Victor Hovland is an eagle putt. We have one today from Denny McCarthy. Will Victor Hovland make it two? Almost. No, but he made a birdie, getting himself to three under par. You can see Hideki Matsuyama did make a bogey at the par three eighth. So he goes to eight under. David Lipsky seven under. Ricky Fowler and Lee Hodges, who are playing together. that got down in the bunker would be much easier if it is. A couple of weeks ago, 16. Shortened it up a little today, Hovland in the sand. Look out. His coach, Joseph Mao, said his bunker play is better. I didn't believe it. 16 out of the greenside bunker. That carried him to four under. And now Hovland looking for a carry of 184 yards. And this could be Hanging out to the right just a little. Oh, it's a beautiful play. A chance for back-to-back -back birdies. Make it three in a row for Havla. Now let's take a look at this play. Havlin for birdie to move to five under. And so with that, we'll drop in the slot. And Victor Havlin. For the day. Five for the tournament. Coming off three straight birdies at 15, 16, and 17. Boy, this is over in the neighborhood where we'll see the flag stick tomorrow. Look at this putt coming up. 75 feet, two putts would be phenomenal. Look how quick this is. That's kind of the putt that uh, Justin Thomas made here in July of. Colt Nost out there with these two today. Not the easiest of starting hole, guys. Dead back into this win. That one headed right, I believe, found the bunker. Oh, 
That's seven iron he got on top of that one. It's headed left. Well, as long as it's not plugged. Well, I think Rory's a little different than uh, just a player, right? Hovland yeah. now, his third. Drew a nice lie, but not a lot of green to work with. That is going to be a tester coming back for his par. See if Hovland can make par here at one. Just over 15 feet, got to just get it going. Oh, he was walking after it. This is at the second, hobbling over the green. He caught a jumper out of the first cut. I mean, Kurt, this part of his game is just continues to get better and better. Sure does, Colt. Joe Mayo and he have really put in the time. The technique has gotten better. Excuse me, hobbling for his par. He's making it tough on himself in the early going here, Kurt. Good seven feet and oh, oh up and down. Clutch with the putter, and that should give him a ton of confidence. Made a big putt at one for par, another one at two. Uh, he's over by the fourth tee, guys. Wow. Believe it or not, there's no divot holes over here, Frank. Was that by design or did he pull it? Uh, no, massive <laughs> pull, and this is an unbelievable shot. Saddle, saddle, saddle. I mean, I can't tell you how good that was. He had nothing. Got a birdie putt coming up now. I mean, Frank, I honestly think if you would have gave him five after that tee shot, he probably would have took it. This for a three. What a start when you think where he's been the first three holes. And yet he's played them one under. I mean, it's normally an exhausting walk up to the fourth tee, Kurt, but after making three from where he did, he floated up it. <laughs> three one putts in a row now for Hovland. This is going to release all the way to the back. That ball carried at least 10 yards too far. What a tough par three this is, Kurt. Not going to be many around the hole here today. Green is really firm. That was a good looking putt, but it does run out a little bit, so Hovland's going to have to keep the putter. Now, Hovland for par at four. These are no fun at all. Four feet, you got to start outside the hole. No and problem. Boy, another good stroke. Good, good sign for Hovland, though. He's got that putter going yeah. early. Second shot for Hovland. Hovland on the dogleg right, drove it 253 yards into that rough, and you can see there was little or no choice. He had to play it back into a safe spot, so 110 yards from there. Victor Hovland now, 110 yards. So Hovland, with the approach to try and set up a look at birdie. And that's a pretty good play. A little movement in this putt. And missing on the bottom of the cup. And so just huge drive, Colt. Yes, it is, but he has been all over the yard today. This is his first fairway hit, but somehow, Frank, he's one under par. Let that spin his back. Now that to get to two under for the round, but more importantly, a chance for a three-way tie. Very quick, Frank. Just really got to get it going from just inside of 20 feet. Has made a number of good putts to start his day, but that one's going to go up a little short. Well, from the angle we had, too. Obviously a bit of a misread. You don't see the amount of break. Still one back behind Schiffler and McElroy. As we go to seven. Hovland giving it a smash with a six iron from 238. This needs to travel. Ooh. Children's hospitals all throughout Florida, around the country, and that's Hovland's third at the seventh. Made putts of this length at one and two for pars. Should move just a little bit to his left. Oh, it hung out there. He was looking for it. Colt at eight. Just over the back. We saw Wyndham Clark come up short. Yeah. To Hovland a little long. And he flagged an eight iron and it just bounded over the green. That was a tricky little shot. And over at eight. And Victor Hovland to remain at six under. No. Early look there, not a good putt. 
And Frank, he's going in the wrong direction. Back to back bogeys at eight and nine. But this could help here. Be the right number. No, oh, it is good. It really is. So Hovland. He's only four back. Northern Irish golfers. We'll get to that in a minute. First to ten. The Norwegian for birdie. Don't count him out yet, Frank. Oh, Mike, yeah, that's his 16th birdie of the week. Hovland going for it here at the par five. Both players have hit good drives down here. Got a really nice bounce off the tee. This is seven wood. Don't move, Hole. What a bounce. What a great shot there. Friendly bounce, but an awesome shot with the seven wood. How about a 3-3 start to the back nine? <laughs> Pick up a few shots. 3-4 is not too bad. Bangs it in. So he joins Scheffler and Clark at six under, two back. 71. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Take that. Fairway finder, huh? Oh, Victor Hovland. You see, that's the same kind of shot that Spieth played at 16. He was going for the same thing. They just had to get it trickling onto the green. And now, the par chip. Let's try this again, Trevor. You see there how he only needed about another foot or so, and it was going to trickle all the way down. So we'll drop one after birdie birdie to start the side. Victor back to minus five. Very gettable hole location here Frank with this green sloping right to left. See if he can ah. sling one in there. Actually played half a shot over par just four birdies here. A lot of putts from the top side which is there. Beautifully played. Trying to be the fifth here Colt to make a birdie. This is so fast coming down the hill. Actually moves towards the back of the green. Victor Hovland found the center of the fairway off the tee. This is a scary little wedge shot, and Not much room to work with. Oh, do that. Stay there. So, so many of the players on the range practicing these little cut wedges for this shot. Makeable shot for Hovland. Oh, this is straightforward. Only about 12 feet. Break right, Jester. Give your chance a shot at Eagle. Heading up the left needs a soft bounce. Well, okay. Second shot at the 15th for Hovland. He's got to draw this one around that tree. This looks pretty good, but my goodness, that took a massive bounce. <sighs> like it landed on a trampoline. Hoplin out for birdie. Okay. Makes things. Frank, it takes some big Buckeyes to take this whole location on. Get in the hole! Oh, and my goodness, has he done it. Is it the number? Oh, it was right over the flag. We had Scotty Schiff a little earlier. He admitted to slightly pulling it. Yeah, scoring average around 75. Hovland. Frank, we've seen some dramatic chip-ins here on Sundays in the past. Another roll. Beautiful technique there. You see how he leaned into his left side even more on the downstroke, trying to get a steep angle of attack with that longer cutter rough behind the ball. He's got through the problematic 16th, though. Hovland on the tee. This one is torched up the left side. It's exactly what you need, Colt, on this back tee. It's a tough hole. It is a brutal hole today. Birdie did yesterday, he plays 500 yards back into the breeze. Get this in the green, give himself a putt for birdie. He's six under, two tough holes to finish. That's eight iron, 177, got to fly at 172. As usual, very properly struck, Ian. Yeah, he really compresses the ball. And this would really be a huge putt for Victor Hovland. 
Can someone finally take the lid off here at 17? Yes, they can. Hovland makes birdie at 17 and goes to seven under par. The first birdie of the day. Fairway's only been hit 39% of the time, and this is carved way right here. Now needs a break. Mm. This one drawing towards the flag. Yeah, and good so, call, Trevor. Oh, it just uh, sometimes if it hits that back fringe, it circles back around toward the hole. This would be a tie if he chipped it in. It's going to be on the low side. Been chipping so well. I know he was expecting to make a better run at it than that. Two under par round of 70 for Victor. He played those last three holes in one under. Par, birdie, par. He is aiming right. Mm. He sure is. And he was right in regulation. Not this time. Needs a soft bounce to stay in the fairway, though. Take a seat right there. That went right up against the collar, Trevor. It did. Well, that's pitching wedge from 169. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, just hanging up on top of that false edge. to Ohio, Victor Hovland is the champion. To beat it, just to make par, but this was the par that gave Hovland the win. It's a big time talent. We all know this. What he did as an amateur coming out of Oklahoma State, winning the US Am at Pebble Beach, Low Am the next year. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.